I don't know. <laughs> Come here to do a, a proper job. And look at that, she's, she's wrapped up in my, <laughs> my 30 year old, but very comfortable and much faded. You said it's comfortable. It has a very comfortable jacket. Very old, as I say. My old cable and wireless thing from back in the 90s, that, but <laughs> what can you do? It's just like wearing a continental quilt. But even that isn't enough because it's uh, <laughs> cold in this warehouse. Uh, and Kevin, as it's the Chauvin warehouse, has very kindly set up an infrared heater. <laughs> because you can't get that, that big beast up there to do anything except blow out cold air. And uh, yes, it's, it's not, not super warm here, is it? On this dreary sweating, November day. Sweating now with this heat. Yeah, right. This is a, if, you, if you start doing some work, you warm up quite quickly, I find, but these two wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> but, but I've had to get the tower in all on my own. <laughs> Because today's job, we've been, been, been to the, the show van warehouse before. We have, this is part of our energy efficiency journey. Yes, I'm glad you said that very loud because I've only got the one mic on at the moment. <laughs> and last time we were here, the audio quality This is crap. part of our energy efficiency journey. Indeed it is. It, well, you say that, but we're about to make things less efficient. Because at the moment, that light up there is costing you absolutely nothing. No, <laughs> because, it's free. because it doesn't work. <laughs> but we'll be putting in something that costs something. We'll be gonna, putting in... Yeah, put that out of its misery. An Avaya Inceptor Hyon 150 watt UFO LED high bay light. Oh, wow. Hey? Oh. Oh. Speaking of things, things I, I don't know if I'm supposed to show. But these, these are presumably in for a pair, are they, Kev? I'm, I'm, guessing, so. I'm guessing so. Because we've got some so. very wonderful old school kit here. That's not to say that Chauvin stuff goes faulty, but I mean, look, they, these are clearly of an age, you know, and they're <laughs> and clearly... In good everyday service. Yeah, in everyday service, still still calibrated. Presumably, Kev doesn't know why they're here. Presumably, they're here for, for some repair, but don't they not? That, that's just magnificent looking kit. What would you say it was, Kevin? A, a full that, That's pole. a micrometer, yeah. So that's, uh, that's uh, basically for doing very, very, very low resistance readings. Very, very, very low. How, how low is low? How Mic low do you go? The Q is in the name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose, yeah. And where would you use that, Kevin? Where would you want that kind of low resistance? Generally, if you're checking, really checking very low resistance electrical connections. So if you were making a, doing a buzz bar system and you didn't want any volts drop and you didn't want any bad connections, you would use that after you'd installed it to actually check that those connections were tight and clean and effective. Fantastic. What a wonderful piece of kit. And, and you say this beast looks like it's an I intrinsically safe I think that's an intrinsically safe multimeter, yeah. I think that's a, Doesn't that look great? That's, that's got to be... The X bit on the end is on there, but uh, yeah. What, what, still a lot of them about. What would you date that to? What do you reckon? 1990s? On there, but I would say think? that's a... Looks, it's got that feel to it, hasn't it? It's got that sort of mm. 90s, 90s vibe, a bit like me. Yes, I, I looked at that and thought that looks like a, a 90s instrument to me, but... Wonderful, wonderful. I do like the aesthetic of that. So yes, very nice, very nice stuff. Maybe it's just in for calibration rather than repair. It could possibly, yeah. I mean, I uh, think in the process of being uh, yes, sorted out and shipped on. Yes, jolly good. So super stuff, and I'm glad to see that the, the lighting we put in in July when Linda was supposed to be with us but wasn't. Saz. So I'm glad to see that. That's all, of course, still working. Wonderfully. Yes, yeah, no, no failures well, right. reported so far, and uh, yeah, it's uh, all working swimmingly. So, uh, obviously, whoever's installed it knew what they were doing. Well, I don't know, it was me and you, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> but we muddled through and, uh, and got it in in the end. Yeah. So, to, to, to get today's end in, we're going to have to scurry up the tower and change that monstrositoire up there. Yeah. Great Which, song. yeah, we, we haven't seen working at all, have we? So goodness knows when it was last in operation. Yeah, it was sometime last year, I think. We did do some logging that included it when we did some of our original energy efficiency logging, okay. and it, it didn't after all a fair bit of current. You know, it was a, it was a yes. monster of a thing. So, uh, a slow warm-up time, I as well imagine, for that kind very, of... Uh, very, very. And for what we use this for, you know, really coming in, packing some boxes and going out again. By the time it's warmed up, it's... Uh, yeah, time to gone. turn it off again. So, yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> You're on your way uh, back out the door again. So we're well overdue for a, uh, a replacement, I think. Super stuff. So, yeah, we're, we're planning on sending Linda up there. You're, you're our mole today, Linda, to, to scurry up. <laughs> That'll keep you warm. It's a bit a bit peaky in here. We need to need to get moving, don't we? Get, get ourselves moving and a-grooving. 
So we'll get the tower up there. That, that thing's just on a plug top, which we think is on the light switch. We don't know for sure, do we? No, I mean, I, I think I think so. Or on a switch, anyway. I don't, I don't know whether they're like 20 amp switches mm. or something they put it on, but there's certainly a switch over there that used to turn it on and off. So. Well, hopefully we'll get up there, unplug it, make sure that we've obviously got a, a decent connection up there, and then mm. stick this Avaya thing in its place. And then hopefully, yeah, job done. Back over the road in time for another fry up. We've already That's had it. one this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do. I do think I might have to have another cup of coffee. In That's it. We're like like the hobbits. It's like second breakfast and all that sort of thing, yeah. isn't it? Uh, do you do a vanilla latte here with low foam? And uh, yeah, you're a bit far north for that, Dave. Fucking hell. A bit far north for that. What What have you got up here? You know, balm cakes. And cup of brown grits. Balm cakes yeah. and <laughs> Tetley's tea. <laughs> Yorkshire tea. Sorry. Cheapers. How the other half live, eh? Okay. Badly, by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> It's so cold enough, it's too cold to be worried about your, I know, yeah. your gingerbread lattes yeah. or whatever. Oh, I know it's so November, yeah. but it's 28 degrees Celsius in Leamington when I left this morning. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Or your mocha frappuccinos or whatever it is you're normally <laughs> used to down there. Absolutely right. Well, uh, one of us needs to get an erection while I have a coffee. And, um, uh, yeah, we might have to peel Linda off this heater, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be your contribution today, isn't it? Just standing in front of that thing. <laughs> Linda, when did you realise she's just singed her eyebrows? That's when she got too close to the heater. Okay, well, let's get this thing built. Obviously, Kevin's checked on my plasma safety certificates Obviously. and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, That's yeah. Good. Yeah, brilliant. Up we go. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> let's hope so. Head up north and head up north. Where's your hard hat? You've got it. Fucking hell, I don't. No point me having it. I'm down here drinking coffee. Pass it up. She may be tempted to throw stuff at you. You might be able to oh, there you are. It's all right. I've got a hard hat on. <laughs> you know what? This might end up actually as a, a usable video. Here's me thinking this is going to be a load of shit. No one's going to watch it. But Linda rocking the, the pink. Pink and orange. Don't really go there, Linda. That's the best I could do. Kind of fashion disaster. But you've also got the flashing knobs. That's it. We're going raving later on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. In Wakefield. <laughs> Getting it down in Wakefield. <laughs> So Kevin has got, would you like to, to, to show the, so to sport your instrument, he's showing it upside down like a clot. I am, because the, the handle's on the bottom. Nigel doing that as well? Yeah, yeah but Nigel was uh, just a, a menace with the camera. I don't, don't that. I'm menace. Not channel, channeling Nigel. <laughs> we will be using the uh, ZS function to do a loop test up there, just to prove that we are Earth. Uh, loop is where we expect it to be, which for a 10 amp circuit, well, I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be somewhere between what, about mm. five ohms, something like that at the most. I haven't got my on-site guide with me. There's a table built in, we can try it. All right, well, I know that we're like 7.28 or something at six amps, so. I'm sure it's going to be way yeah. less than that. Yeah, we're going to get naught point bugger all, I imagine. But this is Kevin's very shiny CA6 17 multifunction tester. Uh, for the video -age, maybe incoming incoming on yes uh, maybe on this channel but certainly on That's kevin's it. channel we will, uh, yeah we will be critiquing it do, do check the the ca chanel as the french would say that's it probably like subscribe what do and like to <laughs> yeah <laughs> well don't <laughs> so we're gonna go up there now linda and i are gonna go up there kevin being the orange waistcoat wanker is is gonna pl play a super, <laughs> supervisory role <laughs> Well, uh, we'll go and see if our circuit is, is ready to accept an exciting new Inceptor high bay UFO light. We haven't got it out of the box yet. We must get it out of the box, <laughs> must we? And do an unboxing. Unboxing. Oh, I hate unboxing videos. I'm kind of an asshole. We're doing unboxing Inceptor videos. Inceptor unboxing. Come on. Well, let's do that then, you assholes. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's all right for some down there, isn't it? Now, it doesn't look too bad up here once you, you realise that you're on about the same level as the mezzanine. But uh, on this side, it's a bit scarier. Linda here in her clashing pink and orange fashion disaster. And red glasses as well. What the <laughs> fuck? Get on this. You're Come a mess, on. girl. A mess. <laughs> Linda's sporting the ga 6 7 tester, which is on loop and which is reading bugger all volts. We've got it plugged in up there. If our glamorous assistants can flick a switch, we'll see if anything happens. Nothing nope, happened. nothing yet. Yay! Oh. 238 points, whatever volts. Yeah, so you're on the right hand switch. Do you want me to try a breaker as well? Or? Uh, what, at the board? Yeah. Well, just to verify that it is that one. Yeah. Well, you can if you want. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, we're all. all yep. 
All high at the moment, a bit too high if you ask me. Still got power. Circuit, so, yeah, still got power. <laughs> Don't like that evil laugh. What was that all about? It's obviously not the circuit as labeled on the switch, which said DB1 yeah, circuit yeah, 2. So. Nope. It's good stuff, this, isn't it? Nope. We sit in every light circuit except the one we want. That's a heavy tester. Are you all right uh, holding that weight there, Linda? That's over two kilos, I believe, that tester. I did weigh it. But, uh, it's, it's a fine instrument. I need a fart as well. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh. It did not stink. No. 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 It's got to be our lighting circuit, a 10 amp, 6 amp. I don't know why I'm telling him that, he knows. You reckon it's off sockets? Oh shit, he's just turned off the computers in the office. <laughs> when you're at a customer size, obviously you've got to double check that what you're turning off isn't going to affect the, uh, the workers there. But fortunately this is Kevin's site, so it's not our responsibility. Okay, well, if this is. No, we're, we're still showing here, Kev. <laughs> you know, you might, we might even be able to sort of trace that because there is. You can see the switch is going up in a conduit. Yeah, I know, I was looking at that. Up across there. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's. No, we're still live. Oh, that's it, that's it. Ah, it's on the toilet light circuit. Who'd have thought it? It's probably quite appropriate, really, isn't yeah. it? For this, for this video, because it's shit. Did, 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 did you kill the office computers? Yeah, I took the computers off. Yeah, that's Okay, uh, we're going to need that back on again to do our test. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, it would all go to cock if it wasn't me here to direct things, I'll tell you. There we go. Okay. Let's hit the test button. That is a six amp anyway. It's a six amp, is it? Yeah. Okay, we're running our test. Our test declares 0 0.798 ohms with the volt current of 288.2 amps. Lovely stuff. This is uh, interesting, this instrument, because it's got a reading there for millihenries as well, hasn't it? It does read inductance as well. Interesting. It is interesting. I've not seen a, an instrument, a multifunction test, that gives an inductance reading. It's 0, 0.0 for inductance, by the way, so uh, in terms of inductance readings, it's what cool there. But 0.798 is perfectly fine for us. So remember that number, Linda, you got that memorised. Good. Did you want to do that fart that you... You did it already. I did it for you, though. <laughs> Linda's had a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the good idea being, let's fuck this off and go down the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, that's the monster. Kev. Bit of a weight to it, isn't it, Kev? So can I have a sip of mine? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's jolly handy, isn't it, having a, a, a guy in a high vis to hand to pass you your, your lager while you're at the tower. That's how you, how you influence as well, this at the health and safety executive I'm watching, so we might get fined or something. Right. So 400 watts at old fitting, 400 watts being changed to 250. Should we hand that to Kev? <laughs> yeah. Lovely stuff. <laughs> we got the chains left up there, which I wonder if we can reutilize one of those to, to dangle our UFO light from. Hopefully, because <coughs> don't want to be pissing around with too much mechanics up here. In fact, we want to get down from here ASAP. I don't. Well, you don't, I you don't. like it up here, don't you? Yeah. Don't. I think it's horrifying. Well, Linda's moving in. I think she's uh, quite. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Kev. Right? How about me and you I'm go down the pub? <laughs> we'll just leave her up here. Back down on terra firma. The firmer, the better, in my opinion. Are you still flashing? You are still flashing. No. 
Oh, I like a flashing woman. What we have here is our Avaya High Bay UFO Inceptor. Inceptor. You've read to be incepted. Incepted. <laughs> Sounds a bit medical, actually. It does, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? We, we haven't really got that plugged up by That's a bit long, actually, isn't it? I think we'll, we'll chop that back to a shorter lead. But also, coming off the LED driver within this thing is a two-core cable, which is for 1 to 10 volt dimming. So if you were to stick a, a variable resistor on the end of this, then you could give it a twiddle and vary the light output. You're not planning on any mood lighting in your, really in your bay, right? It's yeah. just the brighter the better. And, uh, right, okay, yeah. well, tell you what, then. We'll fuck that off. It's a bit weird that they don't make a sort of detachable cable for, for that, because I, I imagine in most locations, warehouses or whatever, where you're going to be using a, uh, a high bay light, you're probably not going to want it dimmable. Well, maybe for energy saving purposes or something like that. But in this case, no chief. So if you'd like to, to take the camera, Linda. I wouldn't press it off. You wouldn't cut it off. You're worried that it's not going to work anymore, aren't you? Fucking hell. It's done now, look. That's done it. That's torn it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to use my fake Nipex Ergo strip. It's kind of got a cock and ball shape, that, hasn't it? <laughs> most things. My, In your life. <laughs> my phallic Ergo stripper. That's not an Ergo stripper. Just to open that up. I suspect if you short them together, it would go... Maximum dimage, I suspect. I might be wrong. Let's not try that. But we'll just leave that sort of fucked off out of the way in some kind of way. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do something with it. We'll do something with it. Just, to, just to get that out of the way. Let's just plug it back in now just to prove to Linda that we haven't fucked it up. If we, <laughs> if, if we have fucked it up, then Linda's going to be taking the wrap. Yeah, come on! It's got some beams, that thing, hasn't it? Yeah, it has got some beams. It really has. It's got some, some luminosity. More luminosity than what was there. Instant on, flicker free. 150 watts instead of 400. And it works with the, uh, with the cable cut off. Uh, it does work, yeah. So, yeah, I've got a bit of two-core cable Even I can better. stick on the van. It's a win all round. We'll put a bit of, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put something around there just to tidy it up. In fact, uh, the A-team are on it. You don't need me. I can be over here, look. I can be all the way over here. You don't need me. Supervising. Dick and Dom in the bungalow are on the case. <laughs> We're here watching Dave Savory. What a plug. <sighs> actual electrical content. Yeah, there you go. Actual electrical content. There you go, Delroy. That's how you do it. <laughs> We left a 13 amp fuse in there. Uh, the reason being that well, it's on a 6 amp breaker anyway. If we put something like a 3 amp fuse in there, well, I, I don't know if the inrush might take that out. Whatever, It'll be on the edge anyway. You know, it's potentially, potentially. The trouble is it's such a bastard to get to that if, if it blows just because it's had a high inrush current or something, then yeah, it's not going to be easy to... And it's, it's protected by the breaker and the board. Which is? 6 amp. Well, there you go. So, yeah, I don't want to be all right. Got a problem there. Fuck it. I think from a maintainability and a health and safety point of view, that's a reasonable decision. Yes, we, we don't want to be working at height any more than we need to be. No, I think the risk of the risk from changing it is more than the risk that it would pose by but Besides, it. once Linda and I have pissed off and taken the tower with us, Kevin's got to get up there on a very tall wobbly stepladder if he needs to. <laughs> You know, yes. it's all right. I, I wouldn't mind that, but uh, we don't want to kill him just yet. Not until the bill's been paid, at least. Oh, well, that's it. Yes, we've got a few more reviews to do first. Oh, well, absolutely, yeah. So uh, we've chopped off the the dimmer cable, bit of tape around there, which you know, if it's got electrical tape around it, it can't be bad, can it? No. And Dave's carefully guessed the length, so uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I haven't. That's going to plug in. Chop that too short. <laughs> It's going to be exciting times over. It's just got to hang this now. Just got to hang it. Not in really any electrical testing to do because we haven't done any kind of modification on the fixed wiring. So, you know, we, we've verified. We've tested the socket. Yeah, it's been loop tested. Do we have to start pulling the board apart to get a, a ZE for the minor works or a ZSDB at least or uh, any insulation resistor? Do we bollocks? It's just a light we're plugging in. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, easy work. I can't believe how much we're charging for this. It's a riot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> How's the Heineken going down? Good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She didn't waste any time. Yeah, she gets through those uh, those lagers. 
Well, the beer's going down, but the light has gone up. I mean, I'm pleased with that. Ple that's been hanging around in my storage unit for about three years because I sourced it for a community centre where we were looking to change the lights. In fact, there's a video of me and John Ballbag changing the lights, which might have gone out by now or not. Or it might go out after this or not. I mean, it's me and John Ballbag, so it's not very interesting. It's more interesting when it's <laughs> me, Linda and Kev. Well, it, yes, let Illuminatrix commence. Go, jumbo. Go. Oh, wait, wait for the commencement. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is hard work. Isn't it? <laughs> Be quicker to go down and flick the switch myself, wouldn't it? Oh, there oh, we go. That's good. Thank it's bright. It is bright. Is that bright enough for you down there, Kim? There's a big dead spot where there's like scaffolding stuff. Yeah, there, there, there's two assholes up a tower up here that are uh, kind of completely blocking the thing. But uh, goodness knows that appears on camera, but. Yeah, I, I can feel the tan Looks good, though. coming on already. You've actually got your French masters coming next week, haven't you? We to have, we have a visit, so uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be pleased to see that. Goodness says I'm picking you up on, on microphone here, because <laughs> 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 the microphones all appear, of course. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so when you're uh, Kevin's got the uh, the, 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 the new family actually coming to to visit. And say, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> and you'll be able to point out, well, like, we've done all the lights, and we've got this UFO high bay light. Now they'll be like, je ne sais quoi, or whatever the French say. Sacre bleu! I don't know what French is for white palette. I'll tell you what, no one's getting back to that again in a hurry, are they? Ooh, look, it lights up the room. Hey? Hey? Let's turn that work light off. Not that you can tell, really, because it gets completely washed out by the UFO bad boy motherfucker. Yeah, I think. I think with the high bay lights, uh, I said this on the John Ballbag video, which might have gone out by now, or not, or might never go out, or not. Who knows? <laughs> but. Uh, the reason why we didn't put those in, John Ballbag and I, when we did the sports hall conversion, was A, you'd have to do a load of mechanical work to take down the fluorescents that were there. And B, you never quite know how a high bay is going to fail. Mm. That's the only trouble with a, a light like that, is if it fails in some kind of strobe mode or something, well, it's not so bad here because you can turn the fucker off and you know worse than you were before. Mm. Hopefully it won't fail because it's an Avaya, no, they're good lights. But in the likes of a sports hall, if you were to put, say, 12 of them in there and one of them starts strobing, it's kind of game over for all your ball games, isn't it? Because you can't do any kind of fast-moving action, 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 <laughs> where there's some kind of flashing light. So you'd have to hope that, you know, if it's going to fail, it's going to fail off. But then, again, for something like that, it's going to leave you with a big pool of light missing from the floor in somewhere like a sports hall where you've got several of them. But for this kind of environment where you've got something that's, well, a high bay lighting up a bay, it's cocking indeed it's on. It's like, what, it's 7 or 10, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Who, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> if only we could take some lux meter readings, but who would have a lux meter? Is that the one? I think that's the one, isn't it? God, it's, it's like being in Charlie's Chocolate Factory, well, isn't it, it Linda? Be, it could be one of any of them. But well, I think they've ticked that one, so that looks like a lux meter to me, so. Who knows, it might measure pH. <laughs> sticking pocket, sticking pocket. <laughs> Imagine me and Kevin, where you could just sort of nick all this stuff. Uh, it's all on a list somewhere, it's all on a list somewhere. Oh, I am sure you can fudge the numbers, Kevin. <laughs> the problem is, it's a bit like being, you know, an owner of a sweet shop, where, like, you sort of get a bit bored of sweets after a while, so it's... I don't know. It uses its... Uh, I could try getting bored. So this is a brand new, out of the box, CA1110 Lux meter. Is this one of your logging Lux meters? This is a logging Lux meter with what, magnetic add-on. Oh, I say, I say. Thingy with specific LED mode as well. Ah, so excellent. specifically suited for LED lighting. And again, uh, in the John Ballbag video, which may or may not have gone out by now, if indeed it ever goes out, one of these is shown. Probably not very effectively, because it's me doing it. Put the batteries uh, incorrectly and see what can happens. Can I ask um, how much do these retail for? 
Uh, no, you can't. So I don't know, to be <laughs> honest. I'd have, to, I'd have to look it up. If you'd like to Google what a CA trouble yes. will we, we will put it in the, put it in, it, it'll be here. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll put a, a link. Include link. Include link. Put a link in the description, in the description yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully an affiliate link, so if you click it, I get some money, but yeah, probably I'm not. Sure they're, uh, nice and cheap, Linda, for you. We're directly underneath it here and reading 332 looks or thereabouts. Do you want to turn it off, clip it in and see? <laughs> so would you go down? We're down to 13. 13 looks. And, and up to 333. Yeah, 334. Kevin's disappointed. I'm not that disappointed. I mean, it, it's. I thought it'd be slightly more than that because it feels, it feels a lot brighter. I suppose though there is a bit of a, a dead spot in the middle, though, isn't there? It kind yeah, of throws the light out. Try, yeah. The commentary goes up, so it was three, three, four there, and then four hundred, now it's five hundred. Are we are we crowding the sensor at all? Height, might be might be crowding the sensor a little bit. Five oh five. Yeah, maybe at task task height. I don't know. Nice, no, only reading ninety two. <laughs> it is a. Uh, <laughs> It is a function of the distance, isn't it, as well? So yeah. The distance is... 317. You, you can stick it where you want, go. I think when we looked up the guidance for warehouses, 200 was about what was recommended for a design. And I think... Oh, right, okay. Was that a, like a worktop level? That was... Yeah, that was just... I think it might even be generally lower than that for just general warehouse spacing, but certainly for a, like a packing bench or something, because I know we worked off the... Well, I mean, let's face it, general. all the other lights are off and, you know... The area is illuminated. Hang on, Linda, we will take a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Try and look like you know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's uh, 2,691, 2, 2693, 3221, there you go, Well, there you go. 3254. The thing is, it's, it, it's better than what we had, because what we had was <laughs> nothing at all. No, I think it's, uh, it certainly looks very good, actually, doesn't it? The, uh, the amount of light feels very bright. So, yeah. Job job, as La French would say. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go down the pub. Now let's go down the pub. Quick, fall in the gets back. Seriously, my throat is... <coughs> right, carry on. It's an asshole. <laughs> Have you started it? Yeah, we're going. Oh, sake, okay. Coffee shout-outs are live. Bow! Happening right here, right now, at quarter past four on a Thursday afternoon at the Hungry What's Horse Pub. What's this? And what did they say? You no, it's a negative screen watch. I have, to, I have to put it at a funny <laughs> angle just to see that... Just get on this one. Jesus. Okay, so, uh, yes, only a few names to read out. Uh, you, how, what did you think of that trip to Jewsbury in, the, in that video with your pink high vis? Great, except I was ill, so I didn't yeah. get it in the last day. Yeah, she went to Jewsbury and came away with what was lurgy. the clap or something? Jesus Christ! <laughs> some, some kind of lurgy. <laughs> <Stay on. laughs> That's not that exciting. Downstairs problems. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, if you will go partying in Jewsbury and Wakefield, just move, move it on. Uh, yeah, only a few names to read out, a, a few of our contributions. Would you like to read the first one, Linda, yes. since you're the guest? It's just it on the screen is, there. Uh, uh, Hall, Andy Hills, good to see you on the lube. Lube? I, I think he says tube. <laughs> tube, sorry. <laughs> Brain in the gutter. But yes, thank you, Andy Hills. Uh, a, a name that crops up with often, some regularity. Really often. Yes. As indeed does our second Hall. Andy Payne. Oh, there you go. Yes, Andy Payne. Andy and Andy. Two, two Andys. We, we, we track the Andys. Good to see a real working video working around a real fault. I presume that was one where I had to knock a hole through the wall and fuck up some conduit. Yep. So thank you for watching that, Andy Payne. Thank you, Andy, Andy. We have a promotion to Hoare. Yes. The, would you like to? Yes. Uh, M Stock Electrical. M Stock oh Electrical. So there we are. Thank you for your uh, recent contribution. No, no message, but nonetheless, a second contribution, therefore a promotion. So well deserved, sir. Or ma'am, whatever the case may be. 
A, a virgin. A virgin. What's a virgin, David? <laughs> so what, someone's first to time. <laughs> um, popping your cherry. Right. Mm. Um, virgin. Oh, toilet bug. Toilet bug. That's my, that's what, what a, a beautiful name. <laughs> What a beautiful handle to go by. <laughs> Toilet bug. Thank well, welcome to the lunacy. That reminds Toilet me bug. of nobody wanks into the toilet. Or should leave that out. You can cut that one out. Um, well, I do. <laughs> Uh, and they, it? Yeah, they've come to toilet it. bag, a, a virgin AFTD scam update. Yeah, yes, I'm waiting yes, for uh, it. Yeah, a lot of people are waiting for that AFTD update video. I, I'm sorry it's been so delayed. It, it will come. It will come. Good. It, it, it will happen eventually. Maybe I'll work on that next. I keep saying that and then other things come along. A virgin. Another one. Mm -hmm. Who is? Uh, Damien. Wonderfully read. I appreciate the time and effort you've put into making these videos. Yeah. No effort <laughs> is going into this right now, I can assure you. It's just not true because it's like take three, isn't it? So some effort has gone into this one. Yeah. And we're on the zeros. Well, yeah, yeah. Mine's foaming. Um, and then Super Wanks. Moving on to Super Wanks, yes. Only the one to read out. It's a promotion to haul for Hyperactive Base 753. That's Hyperactive with a one instead of an I. Who is? Who is an orange super wanker. Indeed. Very generous contribution indeed from Hyperactive Base with a 1753. You can get another beanie made with an orange stripe in it. A beanie? Beanie, thing you wore in your oh, oh, it was right, cold right. when I was wearing yesterday. Yes, we were working out in the cold yesterday, weren't we? It's about time this winter cold spell fucked off. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> right. <coughs> My voice has given up because I've got a tickly cough. The laptop's just turned itself off. You've had quite enough because you've been working with me for three days. Yeah, so, quite enough. Scroll yeah, up. Um, we, we, we've had enough now. There's one left. If you do, how do you scroll? No, there isn't. There is, down there. Uh, uh, Special mentions. There aren't any. There aren't any, I beg your pardon. Okay. Do you? So, do you beg my pardon? Sorry? Do you beg my pardon? <laughs> You're not getting <laughs> not <really>. it. <laughs> <laughs> right, catch up. The next one actually is going to follow very close onto this one because the next one is actually related to that big high bay beast that I took down at Shovan Arnu. Remember that great big square box? That was amazing. That discharge life. Yes, well, it's amazing now because things have happened. The Christmas tree lies. Oh, don't give it away. <laughs> so, yes, amazing things have happened to that. It has been upcycled. So, there's a video that no one will want to watch, but it's coming in. Very short order. You, you, could, you could do several lighting ones because you've got several things, light, lighting things you've done recently. Yeah. Like the shower screen? That's been done. All right, fine. Do try and keep up, woman. I thought you just sent me. Okay, fine. True. I knew about it and I just thought it was because you just specially sent me a little clip of it. But you've actually done a video on it. If I may finish as I started. I finished, yeah. What an asshole. 